I've seen so many people all at once. Churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Ben pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy okay, dipper! Stop! You little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. Oh, this is your last bell. Excellent. What else does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race it to the highest vantage point. Right, perhaps. perhaps I'll... You're going to lose again. Not on my watch. Is Mr. Green's shop located? It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female, one male. Two decades old. And those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries, his reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You were never good at chess, either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh. Well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? Climb the chimney and see huh? all of London for yourself. <clears throat> Look at what Starrick has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets. And Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starrick. You have my word. Am I looks? Miss Fry, 
Your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop, and I can bring you up to date on the rest. One of Starrick's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starrick gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the Blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the Rooks. this city no one looks where they're going yes i've noticed that bloody drood i'll never finish it at this rate only providence knows where those words are headed now well i must get to work replacing them should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot Ta-ta. what an odd man that mr fry was charles dickens knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kaylock's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. Steady on. We need to lead them away from Green. Here comes trouble. Their carriages are easily damaged. That's the fella. Let's go. Relentlessness will see me become master when you finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starry can't be that hard to find. I say we turn the character. Did you give them the slip? We gave them more than that. <laughs> Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? <sighs> we take over Starrick's gangs, we cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starrick has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the Rooks. You are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to our activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starrick never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. 
You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock, known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greenie. I can handle a few thugs.